Mountain bikers think that their sport is cooler, more extreme and harder than road cycling. Whereas us roadies know that our sport is harder because every time we ride, we're basically doing a mini Tour de France. That is the hardest sporting event on the planet. But which one is actually harder? We're gonna find out. It's the ultimate sporting grudge match. <laughs> this one's gonna eat yours for breakfast. Look you've at got it. No, you've got no chance. <laughs> Hank and I are gonna go for a little ride over that mountain there, in fact, except Hank is gonna go in that direction, taking a nice, smooth tarmac road all the way there. Whereas Sai is heading in that direction, taking crappy, rocky, and a grassy track all the way there. Yeah, mountain biking. <laughs> now, we would have asked GMBN to take part, but when Sai gave them a ring, they said they were too busy doing skids and wheelies. So, well, we thought we'd take it on ourselves. I didn't actually give them a ring. I quite like mountain biking. Like I like road and gravel and cyclocross and commuting and cycling to the pub. So I just wanted to do it for myself. What's that, mate? I was just, just, just having a little moan about GMBN. <laughs> Skids. <laughs> anyway, we have plotted two routes on Strava. Now mine is 28 kilometers and it says it's gonna estimate the ride time to be a little over an hour. Whereas Sai has got a 14 kilometer route planned and his is estimated to take a little under an hour. That's right, so does it mean that mountain biking is twice as hard or just twice as slow? Hank? Well, last one to the pub? Done, done. mate, you've got no chance. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And we're off straight away. My average speed is 25, 26 kilometers per hour, which I'm guessing is far quicker than Sai. My route, as you know, is twice as long as size, but it's got a lot less climbing in it. Now I'm starting going downhill, which I have to say is pretty nice, before heading up a neighboring valley over a low pass, and then it's a fast descent into the finish. Now initially I'm on this beautiful tarmac quiet lane, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be hitting some traffic a little bit later on. I think straight away, with little effort, you can see I'm going quite some speed. Meaning road cycling can be a lot easier than mountain biking. It's why on the tarmac we can cover great distances. It's smooth, it's efficient, and it has to be the most accessible type of cycling. 37 kilometers per hour, ah yeah. Now, first off the bat, I should say, there are a lot of different ways to go mountain biking, right? There's far more variety, I think, than there is in the cross, the whole of road. Downhill and free ride is very different to cross country. And the route I'm doing today is very much at the XC trail end of the spectrum, as in, I'm actually going for a bike ride, as opposed to freewheeling downhills and then getting lifted back to the top. Now what's immediately clear is just how much more effort is involved simply moving a bike off-road compared to on. And I mean, it's kind of a bit of a no-brainer that, isn't it really? Like human civilization has developed tarmac for a reason to allow us to move efficiently and quickly around the place. Which isn't to say that mountain bikers are less evolved than roadies, more just that moving is slower and takes more effort. Now to compensate, of course you can just go slower. So it is still possible to ride 
gently off-road. I mean, I've got microscopic gears on this Shimano XT drivetrain, so I can go blooming slowly if I want. But it also means that it takes a lot less effort to go hard, if you see what I mean. It's easier, it takes less mental input to get your heart rate up compared to riding on the road. My heart rate now, where am I at? 165. There you go. I'm still having a chat and I'm in zone four. Now I've hit the big roads. My speed has shot up. I can sit around 44 kilometers per hour. But my heart rate also, as you can see, I'm that bit more out of breath. Going faster takes a lot of effort on the road. Now you can get in a nice rhythm, but the flip side of that is that you can be doing it for long periods of time without any respite. Now this will really take it out of you. So I'm climbing now, but still managing to sit at 30k an hour. I think this just shows the speed you can go on a bike when you're hitting the tarmac. Whew. Side's got no chance. It's funny, you know, even though this is on paper a steady climb, you have to ride it very differently to how you would on the road. It's a lot steeper. And then also because the terrain is so inconsistent, you often find you're really stamping on the pedals to go over one section and backing off on another. So the average power isn't anything particularly right home about, but the effort is pretty high. Not many roads that have the same kind of lack of rhythm and require you to stamp on the pedal so much. As I'm starting to crest this low pass, I'm reaching the hardest I've tried and I can see that with my heart rate shot up to 185 BPM, meaning I'm not slouching. I'm pressing on, this potentially is the top I'll see. Oh my word, look at this. Oh wow, that is a view. I can see on my Wahoo, right, on the live track, that Hank is actually in that valley down there. You can see his road, in fact, from here. So we are ahead in terms of distance, and this is where the table is going to turn in my favor in terms of effort as well, actually, because I'm not going to be doing much pedaling from now on. The main muscle groups I'm going to use are, well, hands and upper body to hang onto the bars and probably these ones in my face to control that grin. So, uh, yeah, right, let's not hang around too long. Oh, let's do it. Right. I'm hitting the descent. The climb is done, I completed it. And now, it's fast into the finish. Come on. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Ah! There he is. I thought I had him! Mate! Oh, sorry, mate. Ah, uh, how long have you been here? Um, uh, do you want me to be honest? Yeah. I mean, around about 10 minutes, 8 minutes maybe? Um, no. What time did you do it in? What was your. I did it in. Morning time. Riding time, 58 minutes. Yeah, so, I mean, 52 minutes I did it in. So average 30k an hour. 
And average heart rate, 140. Well, that's interesting. The big question is, what was your average? Well, it's actually 145. Because I've had like, I pressed on at the climb. Yeah. And then didn't do very much on the descent. Yeah. Which I guess tells us one thing, doesn't it? Shall I buy you an ice cream? I win. Uh, it was actually lunch you offered. Here. Well, I, I said the, the loser would buy lunch. Yeah. Because I thought you were going to lose. But now I've lost. I'll get you an ice cream. Oh, good ice cream, isn't it? It is really good. Mm. I've got a salted caramel and chocolate. Cookie dough. Amazing. Um, so was that ride hard? It was hard, but I guess it was as hard as I was making it. You know, I could technically have gone up that climb slower. I could have tried a little less um, uh, and it would have been easier. So in my mind, you know, road cycling is as hard as you make it. What about mountain biking? How was well, that? Did you, try, did you try pretty hard up that climb? Yeah, so I could have gone up the climb slightly slower, but not much. Yeah. And there were one or two points where it was steep or it was technical, and so I was having to ride hard. Like, there was no way around it. If I wanted to stay on my bike, I was going full gas, basically. Yeah. My heart rate was through the roof. And then on the descent, where you were probably just cruising, right? Yeah, not I was, even pedaling, 50k an hour, heart rate right down. I was hanging on for dear life. Well, there <laughs> these, you go. these little arms were working pretty hard. So, so yeah. I mean, I don't want to say this out loud, but, but mountain biking is harder than road cycling, isn't it? I think I'd agree with you, mate. But what, well, what? Is that a good thing? I don't think so, because road cycling, you can make it hard or you can go easy. It's up to you to determine how hard or how easy you want to go. I oh, yeah, that's a good point. So mountain biking might be harder. Yeah. But road cycling is just better. better. Yeah, exactly. Everyone wins. Yeah. And we get ice cream. Fantastic. That's it. All right, well, let us know what you lot think in the comment section down below. Which is harder in your book, mountain biking or road? And which is better? Yeah. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, as always, hit that thumbs up button. Right. Fancy another ice cream? <laughs>